Hi, I'm Sapien Tia. This is very introductory step course for beginners. T-test first, the beginning of a long way. Okay, we will start the T-test. Maybe most of you see the T-test in your stat textbook. And this is the first statistical test in your textbook, maybe. So if you have any experience on statistics, you maybe heard uh, and know about the name of a t-test. Okay, let's check the definition from the textbook. Following the textbook, under an unknown standard deviation of a population, statistical test on the mean value of a sample from a normally distributed population. This is the definition. Can you understand this one? If you are a beginner, it is very tough to understand the meaning of this definition of t-test. What is the sample? What is the population? And what is normally distributed population? So we will start a very simple word from the very simple word one by one. Okay, first, uh, our question is, why is the name t-test? It looks odd. Okay. I checked the internet, and according to one story, William Silly Gossett invented this t-test at 1908. And at the time, his pen name was a student. So, I'm not sure why student is pen name. Anyway, following the last letter of a t student, the name is just t-test. So, because of the all the name, it is impossible to find what it is. What is the t-test? When I was a graduate student, I asked this question to my professor. And at the time, he was uh, 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 very uh, kind of some... He think uh, my question looks funny. But anyway, I was very serious. Sometimes, if you are a beginner, of uh, statistics, it is very good question why the name is like this, okay? Anyway, when we start the t-test, um, of course, in every cases, if you uh, learn new statistical test, you must know the purpose of the test. It is very important. So here, we start from the purpose of a t-test. The purpose of a t-test is to compare the homogeneity of two groups. Please simply remember this purpose of a t-test. It is very important. Of course, uh, after master the whole t-test, you may be know there are very different and various types of t-test. However, at this stage, it is very good to remember the purpose of t-test is to compare the homogeneity of two groups. It means that we just want to know two groups are same or not. Okay? But here, what is the group? In statistics, the group generally means a sample. However, in statistics, there is another concept such as a population. So, what is the difference between population and sample? And what is it? Okay? Here we have uh, one picture. First, population. Population is uh, left side here. Uh, from this picture, population is whole the picture. Whole the picture. Okay? So let's think about one example. If you want to know uh, all people's uh, height in your country, in that case, all people in your country is your population. Okay? So here, um, when we uh, describe the population, for example, the observation, observation means a size. So here, the size means how many people 
uh, in your population. 1 million, 2 million, 10 million, that is uh, observation, size, okay? So, so the size of the population is described as symbol large N, okay? Large N. So large N equal 1 million, 2 million, 10 million, anyway. And the mean of a population is mu. This is not u. It's a Greek. U, mu, okay? Mu. And variance is a sigma square. Standard deviation is sigma. So we have a kind of some uh, promise. When we describe population, we must use large n, mu, sigma square, and sigma. This is a kind of a promise when we uh, use uh, statistics, okay? On the other hand, the right side, there is a sample, okay? Sample. Sample is this part in this picture. So, the sample is a part of your population. For example, in the population case, you want to know just uh, all people's uh, height in your country. However, in general case, we cannot access and we cannot collect all people's height in your country, in one country, okay? So, in that case, we just collect data partially, like this, partially. This is a sample. So, so the sample size is small n, not large n, okay? And the mean of sample is x bar. x bar, okay? And the variance is s square, standard deviation is small f. So here you must know what is the population and what is the sample. Uh, usually, maybe you always not always, but I think always just uh, collect data as a sample, okay? I think, um, including me, we cannot access population data. This is very big, take a long time and uh, big money. So it is impossible usually. So we use a sample, okay? So when you report or if you uh, write a thesis, you must use this part, not large n, mu, sigma square or sigma. This is for only population. This is a promise, okay? You must follow the rule. This is a rule. Okay, next. As I said, uh, the purpose of t-test is just compare these two groups are same or not, okay? But our next question is uh, how? How can we statistically compare these two groups? The answer is here, mean value. We statistically compare mean values of two groups. So group A, group B, and we have a mean. So, using two means, we just compare same or not, okay? But why? Why we use a mean value, not others? Just to remind uh, prior uh, classes, uh, likewise, uh, I said uh, the reason why all statistics textbook shows uh, mean and standard deviation in the first chapter is these two values are the representative number on your data, okay? The meaning of the average, meaning of the mean is center, okay? So group A's center is here, group B's center is here, and then we compare, okay? Let's think about the example. One day, you guess that um, college A male students are taller than college B male students. This is just your guess. So uh, you want to know which college students are taller or not, 
or saying. Okay? This is your, for example, your first statistical test. So, here we have a data. Anyway, just you have a question about this kind of a, a problem. Anyway, so you collect data from college A and college B. And then you calculate the mean value of college A was 178.5 centimeter. And for college B, the mean value of male students was 179.9 centimeter. How can you decide? Or do you think uh, college A or college B's students are taller than the others? Which one? In general, um, maybe we can decide like this. Oh, college B's main students are taller than college A because uh, they are taller than uh, about 1.4 centimeter. Yeah. However, this is not a statistical decision making. You must know that. Our statistical question is like this. What is the probability that college A male student mean, college B male student mean are different by chance? By chance. Okay. Here, the difference, mean difference of uh, 1.4 centimeter, okay, the mean difference 1.4 centimeter is our statistical event. We call it event, okay? So we can change our statistical question like this. What is the probability that the event of mean difference 1.4 centimeter is simply occurred by chance. That is our statistical question. If this probability, this probability is very small, in that case, well, it is not occurred by chance. However, if this probability is sufficiently large, B, in that case, we can decide it, oh, statistically, these two are same, even though there is a difference of 1.4 centimeter. So our question is still same. Statistical decision making and statistical question is, what is the probability that an event is occurred by chance. Here, the event is the mean difference of 1.4 centimeter. Okay? So every time you must ask a question using statistical decision making, statistical uh, question. Just to simply college B students are taller than 1.4 centimeter, so College B students are taller. This kind of a decision making is not statistical decision making. We must ask a question like, what is the probability that the event of 1.4 centimeter difference is occurred by chance? Okay. I stop here. T-test first. The beginning of a long way. Mm -hmm.